Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cow scarf. Now, uh, you can see the stitch is really easy to make. It's called the Mary L.A. Stitch. And it's real easy. It's just a one row repeat. And this is, as you've seen in the pictures, it's a cow. So, folds up and buttons around on itself. Now, uh, you could make it a scarf if you wanted to, you know, adjust the length and make it however you want, but I made a cow out of it. I kind of wish I would have chose a solid color, but I th it looks okay, I guess, the color. Um, in addition to the yarn that you're going to need, you're also going to need some buttons. You can use as many buttons that you, as you want, but I've had four uh, one-inch buttons. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I use a Universal Yarn Major. This actually came from a specialty yarn store. It's a uh, super bulky number five, and um, it's a 100% acrylic, 328 yards. It is identical. I think it's the same thing, just labeled under a different brand, as uh, Loops and Threads Barcelona Yarn from Michaels. This is the, it's, it's the exact same yarn. I mean, I can tell. 328 yards, 328 yards. It's super bulky five, 100% acrylic. So if you're wanting something comparable to what I used, if you can't, you know, because I got that from a specialty yarn store, this is what uh, I would get. Otherwise, you don't have to use this brand. Any super bulky five will work. You can even use a four weight. You would just need to make uh, your chain um, a little longer. Um, but that's what I use. And then I'm going to be using a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, I wanted to just take a second to ask you to not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video or any other video, you will see an auto subscribe link right there at the top. If you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed to my channel and you'll never miss any of my updates. Now this, like I said, is a Marielle stitch. Now it's done in a multiple of four. Now you can um, make your chain as long or as short as you want. You can, in case you want to use this stitch for something else. It's a really easy and it's a really pretty stitch. But for mine, if you want to follow along with me, I chained 36. Now once you get your chain of 36 done, you want to put a triple crochet in the sixth stitch from the hook. So you count over. Remember, we don't count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Triple crochet. So we yarn over twice, go right in, and triple crochet into that sixth stitch. Just like that. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to go back into the same stitch and do a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to skip three stitches, so one, two, three, and then the fourth one over, we're going to do two triple crochets into that stitch, so skip three and do two triples into the same stitch, so there's one, and two, and then you want to chain two, and go back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. So that's kind of the repeat. Skip three, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, we're gonna do two triples into the stitch. A chain of two and a double crochet into the stitch and we're just going to keep repeating that to the end of the row so you skip three again skip 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 and then the fourth one two triples there's one two chain two and then do a double so go ahead and repeat that pattern until you get to your end of your row to you and you'll have two stitches left. 
Okay, I have made it to the end of the row and I have two stitches left. You want to skip the last stitch or skip the next stitch and triple crochet into the last stitch. Now mine is a little bit shorter because I already have my big piece done and I'm just showing you on a smaller scale. But that's what it starts to look like. Now row two is the repeat row for the rest of the project. So what you want to do is chain one and turn your work and we're going to put a double crochet right here into this very first stitch. Just like that. Now you see this chain space right here, this next chain space? We're going to work two triples right through the chain space. one and two and then we're going to chain two and then we're going to go back into the same space and work a double crochet and that's the repeat for this row go jump to the next chain space which is right here and we're going to work two triples there's one And there's two and then we're going to chain two and work one double into the same space just like that again <clears throat> you find your next chain space which is right here and we're going to work our two triples our chain two and our double and that's what we're going to repeat to the end of the row so there's my two triples my chain two in my double again the next chain space two triples chain two and double and just repeat that until you get to the end of the row okay I've come to the end and I did my two triples chain two and a double in this last chain space now what I want to do is do a triple crochet on top of the last stitch so yarn over twice and triple right into the top of the last stitch and that's it that's the repeat row. So again, just repeat what you did before. Chain one and turn. Double crochet right back into this very first stitch. And then in your next chain space, you work your two triples. Oops. chain two and one double jump to your next chain space right here two triples chain two and one double back into the same spot and we're just going to repeat that same thing until we get to the end of the row Okay, I'm coming to the end of the row again, and I did my two triples, chain two, and one double into this last chain space. Now you want to end with a triple crochet all the way over here into your first, or into your la top of your last stitch. Just like that. That's it. And repeat it again. Chain one and turn. And start again. Double crochet in your first stitch. And in every one of these chain one spaces or chain two spaces, you put your two triples, chain two, one double, all the way to the end of your row. And when you get to the end, right here, you do your last uh, two triples, chain two, one double. You would put a triple crochet right here into the last stitch. So that's what it starts to look like. I think it's super pretty, right? And it's really so simple. Sometimes simple, actually a lot of times simple. It's beautiful so um, it works up really nice and like I said you can use this for stitch for anything that you want but if you want to follow along with me I did a total of 40 rows total 40 rows and then I just tied off at the end of my 40th row I didn't do anything special after that now what you want to do I'm gonna move my camera up just a little bit so you can see Okay, you got your piece laying just like this, and please excuse my messy desk. I've been crocheting a lot lately and trying to, so it's just a mess everywhere. 
I apologize. So you got your piece laying just like this. You want to sew on, you can use as many buttons as you want, on this back side here. So you're facing it this way, you sew your buttons right here. You want to make your buttons equally spaced out the same length as your edge right here. So if you want to use three bigger buttons, just space them to where they go up from this corner, maybe one in the middle and one here. If you want to use six buttons, just space them equally so they're the same length as your short side of your scarf. But sew them right over here. Now, uh, it's a little difficult. Some people have a lot of tr trouble uh, making one of these scarves look right. And I do too. But just make sure you sew your buttons on that side. And I'm going to show you what you do. I'm going to set my camera back down. So what's going to happen is when you put it on, this side is going to go around your neck. This part, this bottom part is going to go at the top of your neck. You kind of fold it up a little bit. And then you swing this side, fold it like that, around this end over here. And you hook it on to these buttons. So just do it real quick here. I don't know if I'll have them equally spaced out, but just to kind of quickly show you, they would hook onto these buttons like that. This part is going to get tucked under. Now, a lot of people, here's the neck right here. It's kind of folded up, as you can see. A lot of people, including me, sometimes, you can either attach a button right here on this to hook it here so it doesn't fall down, or you can sew this. That way it never comes undone and you can just slide it off and on of your head. But then you can't wear it any other way. But that's what some people do. But that's how it gets put, that's how it gets made. I can show you one more time because I know it can be confusing. If you already got it, I apologize. I just want to show some people maybe that haven't haven't got it okay remember your buttons are on that side over there this is going to be the part that goes around the top of your neck and this is going to be the part that hooks to the buttons so i'm going to set my camera down again so i can fold her up so it folds up a little bit around your neck like that okay and then you bring this short side all the way over and you button it to these buttons here. Again, I'm just kind of going to do it quickly. I don't know how equally spaced they are at the moment. But just use these holes that are in the side here as your button holes. And then this neck part is folded up. And like I said, if this hangs down too much, you can sew a button right here and hook it through and the button will show here or you can sew a button on the inside right here and hook it through and the button will be on the in, on the outside or on the inside of your scarf and you won't even see it and it'll hold that piece in, in place if you want to do that that's up to you sometimes i do that i've done that on a few of my scarves and sometimes i just let it be usually when i'm if you put it on it'll stay pretty much tucked under there but that is the gist of it uh, of course you would need to work with it to fiddle it around with it to make it look right but that's how it's done and you can wear it a couple different ways um, I think in the other picture I showed it like uh, I can't remember kind of like this I folded it in half and then this kind of swung around your neck and then I buttoned it to two buttons right here that's just one way. I mean, you can look on the internet and there's tons of different ways to wear these. So um, that's just a couple ways that you can do it. Like you've seen in my pictures. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to understand how to put it together. I know it's confusing, but you know, if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you could give this video a like and a share also. Um, and until next time, also, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. So until next time, y'all have a good day.